I'm an investigator as well as a forensic artist. And uh, back here, I'll investigate. We can be assigned anything from petty larcenies to homicides. So if you are a witness or a victim to a crime and you saw what that person looked like, my job is to get that person out of your head and put it on a piece of paper so everybody else can see it and see if we can identify that person. People would describe people to me as far as their suspect that did something to them. And then I wanted to go ahead and be able to put that down on something where I could relate all their information that they told me. So I started doing it through drawing. I do what's called a reference style and we have a catalog that will show different pictures and different styles of people as far as different features and you will pick out a set of eyes and nose and mouth and a, and a shape of a head we'll break down each feature and then I take from those pictures that you, those features that you picked out of that catalog I put them all into one drawing I just do basic art in college just basic drawing um, then with the law enforcement the FBI has a three-week uh, academy for forensic artists and I went out to Quantico and went to, to the FBI Academy and so they taught me how to do the forensic art and the 3D reconstruction which is the clay reconstruction on the skulls. As the forensic video analyst it's my job to take video evidence from say at the scene of a robbery or any other crime where there might be some surveillance video and I would uh, take that video, put it into some of these editing systems, and from that evidence be able to apply different effects or filters to that evidence in order to clarify the images contained within that video so that we can try to make identification of the person or persons who might be committing the crimes that the video is depicting. We also export still images from single video frames. We'll import it into a program like Photoshop to try to further clarify it a little bit more. For that, we'll release that video to the media and ask uh, the public's help in trying to uh, identify who this person might be. Before I became a police officer, actually, I uh, was a TV news reporter. So my background before and how I got involved into this had to do mainly with um, TV news production. I didn't realize that law enforcement was a career that I wanted to pursue until I actually got involved in it. And so I got involved in it on accident, more or less, when I relocated to Norman and um, needed to find a job in the first place that I got hired was the sheriff's department. But then um, after a while decided that law enforcement was a, a worthwhile career choice and made the switch from TV to, to becoming a police officer. Um, I work in the crime lab here at the Norman Police Department. I've uh, been here just over 20 years and my general duties here in the lab are processing major crime scenes, uh, analyzing um, different narcotics, and certainly working with anything that has to do with fingerprints. Of course, you know, would like everyone go through the basic police academies and then, um, gosh, over the years I've had thousands of hours of training that are specific to um, certain disciplines. Again, whether it's narcotics analysis, fingerprints, crime scene investigation. Initially, my, my interest in my training was kind of on the job and uh, from there started taking some schools and when a position to open up back here, uh, competed for it and got it. We still, of course, collect fingerprints from crime scenes in the traditional way, which is uh, dusting them with powder and then lifting them with fingerprint tape and mounting them on some sort of card stock. And we take these prints and we compare them if we have suspects uh, and we have their prints on file. You know, here we have a person's palm print and we have uh, fingerprints here. We'll make a comparison. And in the event that uh, maybe we don't make the identification there or this person didn't make it, we then go to uh, an automated fingerprint identification system or an APHIS system as we call it. And it's one where we take and enter the fingerprints into the computer and have it search a database of uh, known prints, that is people's fingerprints and palm prints from when they were arrested. In fact, this particular system has been featured on CSI a time or two, but in terms of it spitting out the person in a matter of seconds and telling you where they live and what they're driving and where they are right now, uh, that doesn't happen. It's pretty much fi that's fiction made for TV.